And now, our feature presentation. Okay, anybody else? I'll go for that. Okay. Yeah, me too. Okay. Uh, bacon crisp, everybody? Not too crisp. You got it. What's happening? What's uh, happening is that Martelli's jokes about my cooking have worn about as thin as his pancakes. Okay, everybody get ready. Very nice, Haley. Well, thank you, Chief. Good morning. What's everybody want for breakfast? Ah, food, Martelli, food. And this morning, thanks to me... They're going to get it. Code Red. Code Red. Task Force 1, Engine 18, Battalion 6. A reported structure fire, 734 Hill Street. That's 734 Hill Street. Your time is 0640. OCD clear. We have an hot town at 734 Hill Street, a mom-and-pop grocery store. We're treating one minor injury, still investigating cause, possible arson. Hey, Dad, I think you're right about the arson. Molotov. I don't understand, but it doesn't make any sense. We want to burn out Papa Groody. 
But do you know the man who owns the store? Everybody knows him. He's been around here for years. Let's go talk to him. I got nothing left. All my books, my papers was in there. I'm really sorry, sir. We tried to save as much as you possibly could. Doesn't matter anymore. Mr. Brutal, what happened? I don't know. I, I was in the back working on my books and papers. Suddenly, an explosion. Do you have any enemies, sir? Enemies? I don't understand. This was arson, Papa. Arson? But who could have done such a thing? Was there an incident, anything at all you can think of? Hey. All I can think of is everything I owned was in that store. Now I got nothing. Mr. Brutal, I'm sorry about what happened to your store. What happens to me now? I heard the call in the scanner. This is Papa Brutal's store. Yeah, uh, yes, it is, Danny. Well, is he gonna be all right? He'll be all right. Excuse me, son. I have work to do. I don't understand. Who'd run out a sweet old guy like that? the trademark, the Hawks. The same gang Danny used to run with. Yeah, and that's what doesn't add up. Dad, yeah, Ted's right. Now, those kids were never into arson. Well, some kids have a way of escalating the kind of trouble they get into. Chief Rorschach. I see. Thank you. That was the LAPD. Somebody just blew up an empty police car on Jefferson. And they found the same Hawk trademark on what was left of the car. Look, I still say those kids are clean. Hey, I got a right to my opinion, don't I? Hey, Tony. Well, what do you know? Hey, everybody. Look what's here. You know you had time for us anymore, Danny. Thought you'd forgotten all about us. I want to talk. About what? Old Papa Grudel. What's with Papa Grudel? Well, suppose you tell me. The Hawks got a beef against them? The Hawks don't have a beef against anyone, except maybe punks who think they're too good to hang around with us. Level with me, Tony, and maybe I can help you. I don't know where you're coming from, Danny. You're not making any sense. Neither are you if you torched Grudel's store. Torched his store? Listen to him, will you? He's flipped. Look, Danny, in case you forgot, the Hawks don't mess with torch jobs. Yeah, well, somebody burned him out this morning and left the Hawk logo on his wall. Suspicion of arson. I'm just visiting. Everybody, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yes. Yes, uh. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. is at the police station. Why? What for? I think he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. They picked up the Hawks. And he was with them? Uh, I... 
I, I don't understand it either, dear, but I, I, I am going right downtown to get him. And then bring him right here, please. Joe, Joe, it, it's going to be all right. I love you. I love you too, sunshine. chance we can. You know what I'm beginning to think, Danny boy? I'm beginning to think you set us up. Oh, and then hurry down to the arcade so I can get busted with you? Come on, use your head. I'm on your side. Now, someone set you up. Who? I don't know. Well, someone with a beef. Now, who you guys been hassling? Hey, maybe this whole bust is because of my brother. Yeah, sure. Your older brother, Jimmy? Well, what's he got to do with this? He was wearing his old hawk jacket when he hit on this guy's sister. Oh, wait a minute. You're losing me. What guy? A cobra, the gang up in East High. They don't like it when someone crosses the line, especially when it comes to one of their girls. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Just because of something dumb like that, I don't think Oh, they... don't ask me to explain other people's dumbness, okay? I'm just trying to help. This is my third time here, Danny. Nothing big. But they can send me away. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, okay? There's a way out of this. Blake, you're going home? Yeah, there's a way out. For you. Listen, I'm gonna get you out of here. Blake, come on. Those cobras, where do they hang out? Around Splain Street, near East High. Stay cool, Danny. Those cobras, don't mess with them, man. They're trouble. I'll take care of myself. One of the terms of your probation is that you're not to hang around with the Hawks. I wasn't hanging around. You're associating with suspected arsonists. Come on, Dad, you're not saying that Danny is... A... I am saying merely what Danny's probation officer would say. Just a minute. In all this, nobody has asked Danny what he was doing. All right. Fill us in. Tell us what you know, Danny. I don't know if I can. Look, it's real simple. You talk, you help yourself, and you help the Hawks. But the Hawks didn't do it. Danny, we realize that... Let him say what's on his mind. They didn't torch Scoodle's store or blow up the police car. I think the Cobras did. Who's that? Cobras. It's a gang that operates in the East High area. And Danny, those fires weren't set in the Cobras' territory. That's the whole idea, I think. What makes you think that? Uh, they want to bum rap the Hawks. Why? Well, there's this thing with an ex-Hawk and one of the Cobra sisters. Did one of the Hawks tell you that? Yes, but Tony wasn't lying. It's true, I believe those guys. Hey, and I believe you, partner. But Tony's story's not exactly going to hold up in court. Not without proof. All I want is an explanation. Al, we're trying to give you one. I mean, I want an explanation that I can believe. Try the simple one, Al. The cap stuck his finger out at lineup and said, Haley, Stuff, Ted, you're giving a speech at some high school's career day. That's it. Al, would we lie to you just to make you feel left out? Yeah, you would. Look, I understand him getting picked, family connections and all that. <clears throat> and you, you jock. 
I mean, Jock's got it all over regular people. Even I know that. But you. What's the matter with me? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with you either way. But name me one thing you can do better than I can do. Well, let's see. Um... I can hold up one finger and prevent you from walking by. You and whose army? Try it, Al. You'll see. Anytime you're ready for a rematch, just speak to my manager. That's me. Did you forget something? Oh, thanks. Did you uh, finish up that homework assignment? Right here. Ah, terrific. Have a good day, kiddo. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. dirty shirt. Besides, anybody who's dumb enough to let themselves get set up like that, who needs them? So what do you want with the Cobras? Well, I figure any gang that's shown its muscle is looking for recruits, too. What makes you think we're the ones that set the Hawks up? Didn't say that, did I? What makes you think we want you as a prospect? Uh, I'm fast. I don't look like a punk. And there's not too much on the record downtown. Let's take a little walk. Talk about things. And now for our next magical act, we're going to show you a little demonstration with one of our best friends and worst enemies, gasoline. Now, I'm going to share something with you that probably most of you don't know. Did you know that one gallon of completely vaporized gasoline can explode just like 14 sticks of dynamite? Uh, no. Uh, that can kind of mess up your weekend, not to mention the whole neighborhood. <laughs> okay. Now, when handling gasoline, the one thing you have to remember is that gas puts out vapors, and that's the stuff that can blow up on you. And those vapors are heavier than the air. We are ready, Maestro. Thank you, Mr. Wade. And what we have here is your basic vapor tube. And with the help of my able body assistant right here, we're going to pour a little gasoline in the top of the box, and I will attempt to wave a lighted match over that box. There's nothing up the sleeves. <laughs> and what happens? Nothing. The gas doesn't ignite. Now, who knows why? Come on. Because the vapors are all running downhill. So, if we light a match down at the bottom end of the tube, Oh. Oh. Now the fire's out. So what do you think the stuff in the beaker is? Just smoke? Ooh. Now you can't see it, but that can be some of the most dangerous stuff in the world. It doesn't matter whether it's gasoline or paint thinner or acetone. 
And now maybe you'll understand why there's so many things in the average household that are simply not safe. That's just one of about 18 zillion things you can learn by being a fire explorer. What else do you think you can get out of being a fire explorer? You can get a semi-fine career. Not maybe like being an NBA star, but it's all right. And train as an explorer, you can qualify to join the fire department at 18, right out of high school. And just as our ravishing firefighter Green pointed out earlier, if you want a career in firefighting, there are opportunities for qualified young women just as well as for the men. Thank you very much. You've been a great audience. What do you do besides run fast? Uh, I can get into most places where a lot of people can. I don't know if we really look for new people. Oh, well, I didn't say I was interested. Not for sure. Doesn't mean I couldn't check it out. Whatever. Terrific speech, Miss Green. You know, you ought to be in politics. I guess it wasn't too bad for a debate team dropout. Oh, don't underestimate yourself. Those kids were impressed. Well, we can thank Stuff for that. He really got the ball rolling. Did yeah, you catch my opening line? Yeah. From slam dunks, dunks to water pumps. pumps. <laughs> Hey, what can I tell you? I was a star in the NBA. The only difference now is I'm wearing boots instead of tennis. Oh, listen, Stuff. May I have your autograph, please? Hey, sure. Hey, Ted, you got a pen? Yeah, man. Hey, it's for my wife. She's a big sports wrong? nut. Yeah? What's her name? Isabel. All right, hold on. You got it. Cool, let's go. Let me tell you the time I used to play basketball at school. In those days, we used a two-handed set shot. Hey, Chris, wait up. I want to talk to you. What's the problem? Danny, cut school today. So I'm walking down the street with a kid wearing a street gang jacket. So what do you figure on doing, Brayson? No, I'm figuring on running over him with my motorcycle two or three times. One suggestion, Ted. What? Be easy. Why should I? Well, if you jump on him with both feet, you're probably going to scare the kid away. Yeah? And what else? Well, if he thinks we don't trust him, and we're liable to lose him for good. Hey, it's not that I don't trust him. It's just that I want to know... His reasons, right? Yeah. But then find out his reasons before you jump on him. Well, coming from you, that's pretty good advice. It's good advice. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Forty-five. Forty-six. My, my, my. Forty-seven. Look who's starting to get in shape. I'm already in shape, man. I'm getting in better shape. You know, that's a good idea, Al. Man your age ought to start watching himself pretty close. Hey, look at these arms. Look at this chest. Looks like O'Haley really got to you, didn't she? Rags, that was a trick and everybody knows it. Sure, but she's still pretty strong and there happens to be a very good reason for that. Yeah? And what's that? She uses one of these little old chest expanders. Rags, I ain't buying another one of your hustles. Forget it. <laughs> Good buddy, I'm not trying to sell you one. I'm going to help you. I'm going to let you use hers. Yeah? Yeah. Free of charge. How many reps she do with this? Mm, I don't know, 50, maybe even 60 a day. I can double that. I don't work in front of audiences. You want to take a walk? Sure, Al. I'll take a walk, but I just want you to remember one little bitty thing. We're all on your side. Good luck. Hey, how was school? Ah, uh, same as always, you know. Yeah, I know. You weren't there today. I haven't said anything to Dad yet. But I want to know, who was that guy you were with? 
One of the cobras. What are you doing with them? Oh, wait a minute. Let me put this thing together here. You were the one that said I needed proof. Danny, would you forget about the street gangs and think about yourself? Danny Blake, that's all. Look, I know some friends of mine were into gangs, too. The last I heard of them, they were strung out on drugs or sitting in jail somewhere. Hey, just let it alone, okay? You're too smart for that. Okay. Now, give me a hand with that grill. So, you want to be a keen cobra, eh, Danny? Maybe. It'll be easy. Unless you're afraid of fire. Danny, does it bother you that we've been playing games with your hawk friends? No, not at all. I just don't get why you're messing around with such small timers. A hawk hit my sister. My sister ain't small time. Got it? Got it. Oh, what does it take to be a cobra? A little test. Sam, take Danny down to the clubhouse. Me and Louie got some business to discuss. This should be real fun. Rorschach. Yes. How's your term paper? Bogged down. How was your budget meeting? Great. Oh. Yeah, marvelous, wonderful. I gave a very good, detailed presentation, and it finally came down to cut this, cut that, cut everything, but don't cut the quality of the service. <laughs> so what else is new? Yeah, what else is new? Uh -uh. I didn't see Danny's bike out there. Is he around? Oh, so that's why you stopped by. I feel I should have a talk with him. Well, he's not here. Uh, maybe he's down at the station. Joe, you're not thinking that... I'm not saying I'm thinking anything. But Danny hasn't been coming home on time. He's in places he shouldn't be with people he shouldn't see. But he explained all that to us. But was he telling the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Joseph, we have raised two boys of our own. We know when a boy is lying. I suppose you're right. But I still want to talk to him. Fine. Talk to him, but listen to him, too. Of course I'll listen to him. And then don't jump on your conclusion and ride off in every direction. <laughs> Mrs. Rorschach, you sure have a way with words. <laughs> oh, it's probably a very simple explanation. I'll feel silly when I hear it. I hope so. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> See you later. Mm. Drop by in the daytime more often, Chief. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs> there you go, hot shot. Quit, you win, okay? What's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. I've been working on your exerciser and my arms are killing me. That's what's the matter. You poor little thing. Don't touch it, it hurts. Come on. Look, I can take a joke as well as the next guy. But tell me, you really do 50 reps on that thing? Of course. Every day? Easy. It was easy until I spot welded the springs together, Al. <laughs> In my office, please. <coughs> I haven't seen him. Look, the last time I saw him was a couple of hours ago. We cleaned out the smoke ejector, and then he uh, said he was going straight home. I stopped off at the house a little while ago. He wasn't there. 
I'd like to talk to that boy. All right, Dad. I'll keep an eye out for him. I think you should do more than keep an eye out for him, Ted. Hey, we've all talked to Danny. You know, I think everybody's overreacting just a little. Maybe, maybe not. Do you remember when you were about 17 years old? You used to hang out with a guy named uh, Craig, I think was his name. Yeah. He was into hot wire and muscle cars and uh, cheeky runs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so what's the point? Stick with me for a minute. Remember Dad talked to you? Mom had a talk with you. I even talked with you. Told you the kid was bad news. Look, I remember. You got to rub it in. Remember he didn't come around anymore? Yeah, he, he just stopped talking to me all of a sudden. I always wondered what happened. Well, I had a talk with him. Except we didn't do too much talking. Are you putting me on? No. It's called taking care of your brother's best interests. And I think Danny needs some of this big brother action right now. You know? Yeah, I got you. You gonna let him in? Just like that? I don't do anything just like that. We can use him. He's small. He doesn't look like a street kid. Yeah, that's what makes me wonder. He doesn't look like a street punk. So there's more than one test planned for Danny Boy. Hey. Gonna make some fire prevention inspections? Of what? Uh, somebody in the Spillane Street area. Uh, I don't get it. Come on, who's on Spillane Street? <gasps> oh, no, the Monarch Apartments, they always need inspection. Talk about run down. Maybe we'll see Danny on the way. Uh, what would Danny be doing in that neighborhood? Because it's Cobra territory. Check with the captain. Hey, I already cleared it. Just get changed. I'll meet you out front. Okay. Get Danny. It's time we make a cobra out of him. All right. urban renewal plan. Tonight, you're gonna burn it. We got trouble. Oh, that's not the cops, it's just the fire department. Heat is heat, man. It's getting warmer, Snake. 418, East 31st, one hour. Be there, okay? Go! Station one, Pilot Rorchek speaking. Chris, it's Danny. Listen. Oh, buddy, it's about time. Where are you? Chris, just listen. There's going to be a fire at 4 a... Danny? Hello, Danny. You didn't think I'd have more than one way to test a prospect, did you, Danny? What did he say? He's scared to death. Why? He said there's going to be a fire. A fire? That, that's all I got. He, he was about to give me the address, and we got cut off. Where's Ted and Haley? They're on fire inspection. Get them back. Yes, sir.
station one sedan from fire station one return to quarters. Now, let's get back to your phone call. It's none of your business. You're either very brave or very stupid, Danny boy. Not that it matters, but I stopped you just in time. Why don't I just split? Oh. The prospect's no longer interested in being a cobra? No, he's not. Well, I'd leave you here to watch the fireworks, but it might get kind of warm. Like you did at Goodle's store? Louis, the can. Over here. Just a one phone call. We got cut off. How could he know about a fire if it hasn't even happened yet? Because he's with the Cobras, that's how. Oh, boy. I guess I was wrong when I told you to take it easy on him. No, you were right. You were right again about the solution, only I didn't find any of the Cobras. So all we can do now is wait. Yeah. Wait and hope somebody sees the fire start and then calls us in time. That's the one. It's got to be. Cobra. Cobra. Task Force 1, Task Force 15, Battalion Citizen. Reporting structure fire, 418 East 31st. 418 East 31 Street. Your time is 1732. Up there. Help! Help! Get 
that snorkel off to those kids on the fourth floor. Stop 15. Line on the west end of the building. 
He's got all the floors covered. Good. What about Danny? Right there. Well, thank God. Thank God you're all right. Well, this is the guy that checks out the grocery store. All right, Rags. Put him in the car and call OCD. Have him dispatch an arson unit. Go on. Well, young fella, what were you doing in there? Well, I wanted to get proof, but I think I kind of got it over my head. Way over. Way over. Good job, brother. Way to go. job of listening when you were trying to help. Well, I didn't do such a good job of being a big brother either. I should have tied your foot to the pumper truck or something. Well, maybe you should have. But you do all right. Yeah, well, you do all right too, partner. I gotta thank you, Danny. Hey, remember, I wasn't the only one that got you guys out. Don't forget about the roar checks and the guys downtown at Juvenile who believed you. Yeah, I guess I owe you. It's all right. Look, I'm going to get a soda. Anybody want one? Yeah, sure. OK, I'll have it. So, uh, where you been? Out on the bricks. I was, uh, casing a job. Looks like an easy knockover. Uh-huh. Don't tell those guys, but I was helping Papa Grudel. All right, way to go. We didn't set that fire. But I want to help him anyhow. Don't tell anybody, though. Same old Cody. 